Lord Jesus, we just, we want to follow your vision. We want to hear your voice. Just as we were worshipping there, someone uh, had a word, a prophetic word, a picture of a, um, of, a, of a small pilot light. And just this assurance from God, it may be that you feel that that's all you've got to bring is this tiny little light. But, mate, but God, God can fan that into an extraordinary flame. God can, multi, God can grow that light and can grow that flame. You know, sometimes God does that. He speaks to one of us and it's for the, the whole congregation to hear. So let me pray. Father, thank you so much for that picture. Thank you, Lord. If there are people here who feel like what they have to bring is so small, Lord, I pray that right now you would help them to reach for more and that you would pour your Holy Spirit out over them. Lord Jesus, we thank you that we get to come together as your people at this table, that we get to remember what you've done for us, your death, your resurrection, that we get to remember that you are on the throne of heaven in glory right now. You have not forgotten your church. You are speaking those words afresh to us today. So almighty God, our heavenly Father, who in your tender mercy gave your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. He instituted and in his holy gospel commanded us to continue a perpetual memory of his precious death until he comes again. Hear us, merciful Father, we humbly pray and grant that we receiving these gifts of your creation, this bread and this wine, according to your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, that we may be partakers of his body and blood. Jesus, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. In a moment, we're going to share this meal together. If you uh, share communion or um, at another church or in another fellowship, you, we'd love for you to join us uh, at this table today. If you know and love the Lord Jesus, do join us at this table uh, for this meal. Uh, the way that you'll do that is by taking a piece of bread uh, and eating that. And if you do that, you'll receive everything, all of the spiritual blessings that this meal uh, has uh, to offer. Um, you can, if you want, hold on to your piece of bread and dip it into the wine and receive the bread and the wine uh, together. The wine is non-alcoholic wine, so we can all do that together. There'll be people at the front here and there'll be people at the back as well. So if you're near the back, just head to the back. But draw near with faith. Receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which was given for you and his blood, which was shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith, with joy, with joy and thanksgiving. Wonderful, if you'd like to start to make your way forwards. Uh, if you uh, would just like a prayer of blessing, if you, you, you 
no, this meal isn't for me. I'm not in that place. That's completely fine. We're really happy you're here. Do come forwards, and I'd love to pray a prayer of blessing over you. Shall we stand together as you're able? And Jesus gave his disciples a prayer to pray. The words I think are going to appear on the screen. But if not, I'll lead. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue worshipping God and thanking him for everything that he's done for us. Uh, and yeah, as we worship, just try and listen out to what the Spirit might be calling you to step into uh, as we press into vision uh, together today. Let's worship God.
without borders Let me walk upon the waters Wherever you would call me Take me deeper than my feet could ever wander And my faith would be made stronger In the presence of my Savior to you. And we thank you for speaking to us today. We thank you for what you're doing here right now in the power of your spirit. And we want more of you, Lord. We just want more of you. We want to be we don't want to we don't want to stop being the salt of the earth. We want your spirit to come in power and bring us closer and closer to you, more close than we're comfortable with, more close than we expect. We want to go deep and we want to go wide in our welcome. We want to be inviting other people in and we know it might be tough and we pray that your spirit would be with us today. Pour your spirit out on your people in this place. In your name, Jesus. Amen. Amen, amen. It's been great worshipping with you uh, this morning. Um, if you are thinking about how you can make a difference and how you can join in with Making Church Happen, then do grab what some of the people at the back. You'll see some of the labels on the signs there uh, relate to some of the areas that I talked about. But if, or if you're just not sure, just grab anyone who's there at the back. Um, if you're interested in getting plugged into a worship, do come and talk to Jacob. Uh, and if you're here and you have... You're hearing those eyewitness accounts of Jesus speaking to the crowds for the first time. Come and find me. I'd love to give you a copy of Matthew's eyewitness account. If there's anything else that you want to talk to me about, come and find me. I'll be happy to chat to you. Uh, and if you're here for the first time, do hang out at the back over there in the orange seats as well, um, because we would love to get to know you. And there'll be coffee uh, and there's uh, baked goods. And uh, we're just going to hang out and get to know each other a little bit better. But before we do that, let me encourage you to receive this blessing from the God who loves to bless his people. May the Father pour out over all of us and into all of our hearts his spirit of power, his spirit of courage, his spirit of peace and love and his spirit of truth and the blessing